Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. Guess you'll have to replay to find out. Message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? <laughs> oh. We build there are five your cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Me and North, huh? This is a night our people will remember. Just get Cold. Find this type. I've been waiting a long time for this. Have you? Run. walk normally no one would know it's okay they're gone there's probably even more police in the area we should be careful police uh... oh we're going that the way over here Wish. Future of a city. Okay. Ah, would you look at that? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what I'm we're game really for a 25 hour stream. Oh. Let's get them out. We'll all options. The plan. Every option. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until oh. all our teams attack. What are you waiting for? Tour the area? Okay. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You are free. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. Oops. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Won't be easy to reach. Uh,
Okay. Have all these as well. How are I supposed to? You'll soon be with us. There's so many possibilities here. You are free. And I need to what a drone. Wait. What is it? We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Okay. Now, I climb up there or something. Marcus! What? There. Uh. Other options are there though. There, then up, then jump. Okay. I have to acute. Uh, you have uh, an acute case of polyphologism. Tomorrow I have to stay home. The food and to look directly at the door that can identify the food. Oh! I was reading chat! Stay where you are. What's wrong with you? Are you doing it on purpose? Do you think you can do better than be my guest? Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess oh. I overestimated you. Okay, I got us. The cops were coming. I had to do something. <laughs> Never do that again. Got it? North. We've right. got to hurry. We don't have much time. Resentful. Where do we? Do we complete the mission or? Alarm system. We alarm system. Alarm system. There is something. Found it. Okay. Okay.
You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Okay. Neutral is not bad. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. We... Marcus! Marcus, yeah. come look! I'm in front of you. Hi, dudes. It's convert, huh? You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Should have done that first, though. Too many eyewitnesses. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. A truck! Where is the truck? Oh, there, over, over there. Maybe. I jump over it or where do you oh look. There, there it is. Yes. So how do I get in? Game? There. <laughs> oh, no. What are we waiting for? Now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Hmm. I wonder what you'd do without me. Oh. Oh, poke. 
Wax's ah. hero on his head? That's uh. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Am I still going now? Just have to wake all the. You don't have to obey them. You're free. They're clothing though. So when did he get the power of just like touching people and then suddenly they become awake? Wake the androids, convert the androids, talk to them. Hey androids! Talk. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! Yeah, admired! Woo! I'm then back! Follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. What's your message to the humans? Be pacifist or violent? The screens, Marcus! Okay. 
okay? How about uh, these peeps? Hi, peeps! Passivist, though. Uh... I'll help you. Uh, we have a dream. I think before I am, one planet to resist equal rights for androids. something in these doors fine Like, ah, oh, look at what we are done. This looks amazing. Jericho. 
We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Yep. Unless there's no other choice. Unless it's self-defense. Unless it's self-defense. Uh-oh. My face! North! Did you just go in and shoot a lot of people? North! North! You alright? What happened? North! They killed them! They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Other androids? Wait, what? Like self defense or please? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Let me show them we are, we are the monster that we are. No. I have a family. Kids. Punish a crime with another crime. Fair. Random fact about VS Cosplay is. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Uh, random fact about VS Cosplay is that VS Cosplay is, uh, so to say, a pacifist. Marcus led a peaceful protest. I believe in uh, pacifism as long as it is possible. Who did decide? Fair. Then team. Okay. How about? Oh, okay. A lot of people decided to be peaceful. The only. Time I don't believe in pacifism is when your uh, mind takes over. Get like a survival instinct to be alive. You do what you can to survive. I've always been afraid of cars and my, my toes. <laughs> it's a mimic! Toaster mimic! Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. <laughs> right. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. 
I made a few calls. Here we are. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Resto. Okay. Resto. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, yeah. Hank, join a wait for Android. Ah, look at that douche. Tomsky, a liar. Nice girl. You're right. Amanda. Yes. She's really pretty. Nice place. Look at it. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Mama Eka. <sighs> I don't know. I'll tell you when I see it. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Oh, you haven't met your parents? I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I will see you now. I would. Oh, oh, huh. Mr. Kamsky. Okay. Just a moment, please. Just a moment. Oh, <laughs> okay, there he is. I understand. Hi, dude. The deal. Sorry, I'm too busy using them. Oh, baby, that wasn't him. Or what? Do we just sit down? Anchor Do we do we join him? Can we go in the bath? The bathtub. Oh, with robe and everything. He changed his shirt. That's not the shirt I picked for you. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Huh. Deviancy seems to spread. Like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? 
Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Maybe. Uh... I have no side. AR9? I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? Mm. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Aldi. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Why? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. I don't know. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I uh, heck. I have to I have to pick Fascinating Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to you choose between two? You destroyed the investigation and are now a deep. Let's get out of here. Yep, guess so. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Emergency exit? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. 
I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> well, maybe you did the right thing. Hey, we're friends again. Hooray! That's what I wanted. <laughs> Who's all? Thank you. So, cam's test. So, you can spare Chloe or we could shoot Chloe. If I shoot Chloe, I got a different ending. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Hank thought Connor made the wrong decision. Apparently, my friendship with Hank is more than I can have. I don't know. A book? <laughs> Android riots. Eastern space race. China, China, something, something. Space, space. Okay, so, uh. What do you think about us? Which. Downwards. Downwards. Sanfa. All the uh, connect. Echo did. Burping. I don't know. Oh, there's plenty of things I can investigate. Like, for instance, this part. Take. <laughs> it's like my face. Okay, how about the piano? I saw had a little lamb. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. Go from one slavery to another. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. I have the same thought. Uh -huh. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho?
I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Wait! Wait! Okay. Okay. So this game is rewarding me for being persistent. Game is like, oh, uh, oh, you don't want to talk about it? If I push you talking about something you don't want to, you become more friendly. I'm not. We all her. have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Again, what do you mean for pushing on? We're friends! A doll and a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. <gasps> there, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. And they're not free, they're following, blah, blah, blah. following another master. Oh look, they're roboting. Now they're friends. I, I saw your memories. Lover. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt. It was her. She's the girl I weren't able to uh, track down. Like I was there with you. North. The killer with the blue hair. Yes. <laughs> and now they're lovers. Yeah. Robots do that. They're like robot bro fist or <laughs> good times. Robot hug. Yeah. 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 Admired. I'm a lover and admired. This is suicide. <laughs> we'll all be killed. Please. Suicide. <laughs> it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> you don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. Again, that's beautiful. This is the only way. way. I want your shirts. <laughs> okay. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Okay, so I just like uh, toss on the people. Molest. You're free. He has to some clothes. Yeah. I can. So you can start my fucking rally. One. Come with us. Yeah. 
do? You're awake now. Great. Been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Yeah. Speaking. I need to block the street. Where can I find more people? I'm supposed to go to the other side of the street. Oh, there is some androids. Two to be precise. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Um, um. Man, oh, I keep thinking about how cute Marcus is in the this game, and then I realized he is modeled and voiced. By the guy in Grey's Anatomy. Oh! Yeah, that might be true. You can just go to EMBD. You're free now. Oh, now he gets like an EMP march. Real name is Jesse Villian. Leader, huh? Fifty four. It does for some weird reason. Yeah, they're they're uh, if you're looking at the uh, actors that are in the game of uh, all the Quintic games uh, games. You see, they look very much like their actors. They basically are actors in games. I have a few other games as well. The uh, what's that? He's like, join, join. Hey you. You wanna come over here? Hey. Disperse. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order! You're gonna do shoot us all? Jesus fucking Christ! I'm walking here! This is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down Liberty here. for androids. Freedom!
somewhat epic. Guess we're going this way. <laughs> Riot. I'm just gonna destroy us all. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Uh, stand ground. Disperse. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're leaving. Affirmative. They're gonna shoot after all. <gasps> uh, stay. Oh, Jones? they're attacking. No! And they're just like rebooting like they did with Connor. No problem, right? Marker. And you ground. I I don't want to survive. Ish. Don't give his life to save Marcus. John, it was John. No. John joined in spare parts. Was my. And we have four multiple endings here. Police keeps firing. Why? Oh, we could either have run away. If we decide to run away, straight away, with a different ending. And we could have charged and killed a lot of people, given three endings. So if you had not saved John, you would have. You would have other options. Uh, then I would have been destroyed, I think. It seems. Then I would have ended here. These two endings. I'm a survivor! Talk to me. Amanda! Oh, it's snowing here too as well. Um Amanda mom are you here